Today guys we're talking about Rivian and we have an update about Rivian charging stations. Rivian now has over 400 stations for charging. I know that's not much compared to Tesla however this really proves that they're actually building out their network and I expect this will actually accelerate uh, as the year progresses and especially next year because Rivian has stated that they will be getting a lot of subsidies to build out their stations. They're saying, I believe they said they might get around 80% of the costs covered by the government grants to build out their network. Rivian has 181 stations in their Rivian Adventure network. I believe this is exclusive still to only Rivian drivers. Now, RAN network is a network of fast charging sites, initially capable of up to 140 miles of range in 20 minutes. So that's pretty huge, 140 miles in 20 minutes. And Rivian is planning to grow this to 3,500 fast chargers across 600 sites over uh, across the US and Canada. Now, if you look at Rivian waypoints, they have 225 locations, which might not seem like much. However, this company just started and they already have 400 stations. They have 225 Rivian waypoint stations and they're expecting to have over 10,000 of these uh, built these level two charges built out across the United States near shopping centers, restaurants, hotels, and parks, and other popular destinations. Now these might not these might not be as fast as Ren yet. However, they will most likely get an upgrade eventually to meet the charging charging needs and charging speed of uh, this, that that is uh, adequate or comparable to the Ren network. Now we can look at a detailed map of all their charger chargers. We see uh, they're mostly in California, they're mostly in Colorado, uh, Tennessee, and uh, Carolinas and Georgia. Now, when the Georgia plant that will be producing R2 comes online, they will probably have a lot more chargers installed in, the, <clears throat> in that region down south and on the east coast as well. Now, let's see how this compares to their rivals. Electrify America has 800 almost 900 station locations with almost 4,000 EVSE ports. EVSE ports are basically this. Uh, they are charging stations that have multiple connectors. And we can see a map of pretty much Electrify America. They're pretty much everywhere now. They started mostly on the West Coast. However, now they're on the East Coast and pretty much the whole uh, country is connected. And let's compare this to EVGO. EVGO is another huge player. EVGO has <clears throat> around the same. They have 857 stations locations. They have around close to 3,000 uh, EVSE ports. And we can see a map. These guys are mostly clustered again on the West Coast and California and the East Coast. And this is primarily where EV sales are going on. California has been number one purchaser of electric vehicles. They're, they're on track to actually ban gas cars in, around a, in, in about a decade. So they are preparing for this massive push out of uh, stations, electric, electric, electric vehicle charging stations that will replace gas stations because gas stations will be useless after they uh, pretty much outlaw any gas, automobiles, trucks, and probably even lawnmowers. So having these stations already built in California will be a huge advantage for pretty much every single uh, company that's building out these chargers. Now let's compare this to ChargePoint. ChargePoint has 32,000 station locations. Now this is comparable to Tesla. Only difference I would say is Tesla's uptime is actually probably much larger and Tesla quality is also probably much higher. And <clears throat> Tesla is, uh, uh, it's much easier to use them because you just connect your credit card to, to their account and you just come in to any charging stations and you plug in and you start charging. However, these guys still require you to put in manually information. They can take some time. They can actually uh, delay the process. Maybe the machine that takes your account information is broken, so you cannot charge, even though the charging station is functional. And also, I believe Tesla has close to 99 or more percent uptime for all their charging stations. However, I've heard some of these guys are not really as good. They're not as adequate. However, having 60,000 ports available for charging is it's pretty huge for any company out there. Charge point, you can see their map, they're pretty much everywhere. There you have, they have charging stations in uh, pretty much every state, every corner. They're pretty well developed in Canada as well. So these guys will be one of the main players in the future. These guys will be dominating in the charging, in the charging space. Charge point mostly uses the same components for L2 and L3 units. 
And so they basically designed all these charging stations to be easily upgradable and replaceable. So even though these are just level one or level two charging stations, even though they might not be able to deliver as much power now, they've been basically designed to be upgradable. So eventually all of these charging stations will be upgraded to level three or even higher where they're delivering uh, 200 miles of range in 10, 20 minutes, maybe even less if they actually achieve level four or level five. And you have to, see, you have to also consider that these charging stations will uh, provide the, most of these charging stations are built around restaurants and uh, uh, shopping malls and convenience stores. However, because they will have hundreds of thousands of these charging stations, most of these will be an opportunity for these companies to build out their own brands, to start selling their own restaurants, start selling their own uh, candy bars or peanuts or whatever while you're charging. There are movie theaters. We see that Tesla is actually planning to open their own restaurants because they have so many charging stations. A lot of people just hang out by their stations or while they're waiting, they can just go grab a coffee at a Tesla restaurant, grab a Tesla pizza. So you can expect a whole new industry to just boom from this, from these charging stations that are just popping up everywhere. So like we said, Rivian has now over 400 charging stations. That's not much compared to these guys, however, uh, it's not much compared to ChargePoint and Tesla. However, these guys are catching up. The main point Rivian is trying to do is they're still testing their hardware out. They're still perfecting their charging stations. They're man they want to make sure they have 99% or higher uptime. So they don't want to have a huge charging station network that's constantly down, it's constantly broken. I've heard some of these other guys, a quarter of their uh, stations are constantly out of order. And that's a real pain where and you plan a trip and you stop to charge and there's just uh, there's no station that functions so it pretty much puts you at risk of being stranded and Rivian wants to avoid all that they want to test out this hardware they want to perfect hardware and software and mostly they also want to get subsidies from the government to build out their network at an 80 percent reduced cost so all of this is coming together for Rivian this they only have like I said 400 char charging stations however in about two years, I expect that to be in the, in the thousands and all of those stations will be up in high quality. So I'm very optimistic about Rivian building out their network and we'll just see how it really goes. So that's it guys, just to give you a quick updates about charging stations and Rivian and these other players. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, let me know below. And guys, as always, have a great day.